on a previous video, we started working with TypeORM and we created a one-to-one -one relationship between a user and a profile. Here we have the mapping from the user to the profile. Here we have the one-to-one -one decorator. Here we have the showing column decorator. And if we go to the profile class, we're gonna see the mapping back from the profile to the user where we have the one-to-one -one decorator. Okay, now let's work on a one-to-many relation between a user and a phone entity. So now let's create the phone class. So this is type ORM entity create minus N phone. The new class has been created. And here we are going to add a couple of properties. So first we're going to add an ID. That will be the primary key of the table. It's a number. And we're going to add a decorator to auto-generate the value of this primary key. So this is primary generated column. Then we're going to add another property that will be the number. So this is a column. And this is number. And this will be a number. Let's keep it really simple. Okay, and now I'm going to close this and I'm going to open the user class. Okay, and in the user class, I'm going to create a one to many relationship between the user and the phone. So the user is going to have an array of phones. This is phones, and this is phone array. And here we're going to add a decorator. This is one too many. And as the target of this decorator, we have the phone class. So this is phone. And now we need to go to phone. And we're going to add the relationship or the mapping back from the phone to the user, the many to one side of the relationship. This is user. The type of this property is the user class. And here, let's add the decorator that is many to one. And here, the target of this mapping will be the user class. And the property will be user, and in particular, user.phones. And that's it for the mapping setup in the phone entity. Let's go back to the user. And the property from the phone that will allow us to map the relationship is the user property that we just created in the phone class. This is phone, and this is phone.user. OK, and setting here cascade as true, when I store the user with the phones, it's going to store in the database not only the user class, but also the relationship with the phones. and is going to insert the phones in the phone table. Okay, and I'm going to add a method here so that I initialize the phones array and I can insert, of course, new new phones to the user. So this is add phone. Okay, I'm going to receive a phone. So if phones is no, I'm going to initialize this property with an empty array. Array phones, or this is phones. Actually, this dot phones because it's a, an instance property. This is this dot phones. And now I'm going to push the new phone to the phones array. So this is this dot phones dot push. And this is phone. And here I forgot to add new. Now let's go to the index here. Basically, I am creating a new user, a new profile, and now I'm going to create a new phone. And I'm going to add this new phone to the user. So let's create here a new phone. This is const phone equals new 
phone. It's a new instance of the phone class. And this phone dot number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we can do user dot add phone and we can pass the new instance of the phone. Okay, and basically here I'm going to create a new user, a new profile, any phone. I'm going to assign the profile to the user. I'm going to add a new phone to the user and I'm going to store the user. And given that we enable cascade, not only for the profile, but also for the phones. This is going to create three tables, the user table, the profile table and the phones table. And we will see how it propagates the data into those three tables. And of course, we're going to generate the foreign keys between the user and the profile and the foreign key from the phone to the user table. If we go to the database explorer, here we don't have any tables. So let's run this index file, npm run start. And as we can see here, we have all the SQL sentences, basically to create the profile table, to create the user table, and to create the phone table. And here we have all the sentences to add the different constraints. For example, here we have the constraint from the phone here, this user ID key that is going to reference the primary key of the user table. Okay, now let's refresh the database schema and let's see the data first. So here we have our user with ID one and we have the reference to the profile ID. And let's take a look at the phone table and we're gonna see one record here and we have the reference to the user ID. And if we take a look at the table definition of the phone table, as we can see here, we're gonna have the ID that it will be the primary key of the table, the number, and then we have another column that is the user ID, that is a constraint, that is a foreign key, that is going to reference the primary key of the user, as we can see here. And this is basically the way to implement the one-to-many mapping between a user and a phone. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care.